Are you fucking kidding me? Really? A screamer? How the hell did that happen? What? Why the hell am I getting screamers? And there's they got me pinned down too. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, f me. Things are just going to keep escalating. I don't know if I can survive this. I really don't. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. This is the Insane Nightmare Series. I'm the Bearded OG, and it is a morning, as you can see. I spent uh, the rest of yesterday in... Ooh, there's a deer out there. Uh, in game, just gathering a few resources. This is all of the stuff that I got. Uh, we're kind of in bad shape right now in terms of food and water, so we're going to take um, anything and everything we can to, over to the trader first and sell... Um, to see if we can get enough coin to get that cooking pot. I've got four water here, but, you know, obviously I can't cook it yet. Um, so let's grab stuff that he might be interested in buying, including the nails. Uh, the fort bites would be nice. The blood bag would be nice. But I think we're going to, right now it's more important that we get our food and water under control. I don't think any of the rest of that stuff is stuff that he would be interested in buying. Either that or I'm not interested in selling. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back over to the trader. Uh, we got some Zeeks down here that we'll have to deal with or get rid of. I'd prefer to get rid of them because our stamina is not so good right now. So let's see if we can get rid of that guy. Okay, let's head on down and just avoid him if we can and work our way back over to the trader. I killed, I don't know, probably another four or five Zombos yesterday as well when I was gathering resources. We're about halfway to the next level. Oh, we also have a few achievements that we uh, need to turn into. After we get things squared away with the trader, we're going to go uh, We're going to clear out the, the POI that we're currently staying on first, and then after that we'll decide what our next move is. Um, let's go check this car. A couple cars, actually, we can check. Okay, we'll take that for sure. Let's see what's in this one. More stuff. We like stuff. Okay, take all of that. Let's check this trash over here. All right, let's head to the trader. Nice, machine gunner. Drum magazine. That'll definitely come in handy when the time comes. Grab a little more plastic from these guys for selling. All right, Rectum, what you got, dude? Put away your weapon. Quit gawking. Either buy something or piss off. Or piss off. Okay, he doesn't want that. Bought the gas. So buy that. Those. That. That. Those. All right, nice. We have enough for the cooking pot. In fact, because we have enough for the cooking pot, I think I'll hang on to the nails. Uh, damage mitigation. Maybe, maybe we'll hang on to the fort bites too. Gonna have the brass. Want to keep the seeds? I don't want that. All right, let's buy the cooking pot. And that still leaves us 166 coin left over to buy one water because <laughs> we need it. Okay. All that gawking at goods, and that's all you buy? That's all I'm buying. All right, we have 46 coin. Is there anything in here we could buy for 46? No. We could buy a can of peas if we uh, if we made 14 more coin. 
Try anything smart, and you'll get a new start. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna sell the nails. That <laughs> shit. That still didn't give us enough. Okay, try the pipes. Sixty-nine. Don't there we go. The My favorite number. Your way out. All right. Let's buy some peas. That'll give us a tiny bit of a boost. I mean, I got lots of eggs, so we can eat eggs if we need to. It was really, you know, more water that was the critical thing. Did I try and sell him? You got money this time. These things. Just here to piss me off. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I can't remember if I tried to sell those or not, and that was what was left. So, okay, good. So, we just gave ourselves a tiny little bit of a boost there. And where, uh, where's our bedroll? Bedroll's this way. Okay. Let's head back to the base, get some water cooking up, and eat. We'll probably just eat some raw eggs, you know, so we can get our food and water under control, and then we'll go do some looting. I'll see you guys back at the base. Keep the camera rolling in case something crazy happens. All right, we made it back without incident. Let's go ahead and put our new cooking pot in place. Couple more of those. We'll grab these waters and get them cooking. So now that we have those waters, let's go ahead and eat this charred meat. It is going to make us a little bit thirsty, but it's also going to help us with food. We have a total of 17 eggs, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's put all of this stuff in here. We'll keep that with us. We'll keep these with us. I, I, I guess I'll hang on to the fort bites too because those could save our ass if we get into a really bad situation. I want to take this cobblestone with and I got a few wood hatches that we'll use if we need them. And maybe let's grab half of this clay and just make a little more cobblestone rocks. Okay, let's drink these two waters. I could make boiled eggs, but I don't think I want to burn a water to do that. We just can't afford to lose any water at the moment. <clears throat> I did, um, can we make a cornmeal? Or do we need to have, or sorry, a cornbread? Oh, no, we, we don't even have that unlocked yet. Okay. So we'll put that back in there. Drink that water. And then let's just go ahead. Do we, uh, we don't get dysentery from these, do we? No, okay. Let's just go ahead and eat some eggs. To get that food up. I think what I'll do is I'll keep 10 eggs. And we'll eat that mini. And that should, that should get us fairly well topped off. All right, we'll turn that off. Um, I think we'll, I think we'll actually hang on to this water for a little bit because we're we're in good shape. We're not all the way up, but we're pretty close. And our food is, yeah, you know what? Maybe we better. How many eggs does a bacon and eggs require? Okay, so, so it'll take two. So if we hang on to six, we can make three bacon and eggs. And then, you know, we'll probably get some more, too, eggs while we're out and about. So let's just down four more of these, and then, then we'll be in reasonably good shape food and water-wise. Let's put you back in there. Did I burn all of my stone? I think I did. Yikes, okay. We need to get a little bit more stone, too. But we are in much better shape than we were when we first started. So I'm just kind of taking a look-see around before we go down and see what's going on. I looted a few of the items just real close to the base here. Um, all right, let's go hit that boulder over there. And I should probably not sprint any more than I need to, just because that 
you know, causes us to expend more food and water. So let's just walk until we need to sprint. We'll get some stones and then we'll go in into the diner and clear it out. I've looted the semi truck and that ambulance already. Let's hit this trash or some sand, sand and trash. An amazing find. Okay, so how are we supposed to get in here? Uh, we just open the door. Okay, that's easy enough. Okay, see Zombo right there. It's an egger. Are we clear enough out here to just pull him outside and take him out? I think we are. I don't see any Zikaruskis out here. Tell you what, though. Just in case we end up waking up um, more than one. Let's put this down. Oh, actually, yeah, I want it this way. So we can um, use it if we need to. There's very likely a Zombo behind that counter, too. It's just, can we pull Egger without waking up the other one? I think so. Okay, let's bring him outside. Oh shit, we got two. Close that. Yikes. Alright. Okay, he did. Oh. That was fortuitous. Oh shit. Get some bleeds going on her. Fortunately, she can't get past that thing. Are we okay outside here? I think so. There's two zombadoodles in there. Let's upgrade this. Keep that. Oh god. Okay, hold on. That thing's just about broken. Okay. Get some bleeds going. Okay, I need Bo to stand up so I can get some bleeds on him. Let's keep that healed. Oh shit. Okay. Oh! You motherfucker. Should not have been able to do that. That was cheating. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. That is a dangerous situation. Let's see if we can use a little archery here. Can I get some... Ble okay, good. If we can get some bleeds on his head, that will help the situation. Alright, Darlene's down. Now we just gotta deal with Bo here. Oh, she's not dead yet, though. Fuck! Okay. Let's get up here and see if we can hit him with some arrows. I really hate that crouching thing that they do. Not a fan. Never have been since they implemented it. And it doesn't make sense for him to be crouching right now anyways. Give us our arrows back. Okay. 
Well, that kind of sucks that we expended two bandages, but at least we didn't die, right? Okay. Let's leave that down so we can make a quick escape if we need to. Um, this is probably cloth, right? Let's just check it. Well, we get wood out of it, too. Oh, no, it is leather. Nice. Okay. Let's just put that there. And that there. Okay. Where are you guys? Oh, shit, he's over here. Down with you. Alright, let me finish getting the leather from these, because we need to do that to get leather. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's keep that up, too, in case somebody comes around from outside. We need to do this to get leather, but we also need it for one of the, the challenges, too. Speaking of which... We have completed craft bedroll, place building blocks, upgrade blocks, place storage container, upgrade a cobble, and campfire. And we're on our way towards uh, those, those challenges there. We're just about to the next level. Okay. Let's loot what we can in here. Coffee, okay. Hopefully this will give us some beverage. All right, water's good. We will take water. Absolutely, we'll take water. Another cooking magazine. That's a beautiful thing. You can now make cornbread and goldenrod tea. Oh, fantastic. Okay. All right, I guess we're... I guess we're clear to go in there. What about in here? Um, Let's go in here and check the toilet. We might be able to get some water out of that. I don't remember if we get water out of toilets now or not. We used to. Might find a pistol, too. Paper. All right. Well, let's get some pipes anyways. A pipe. This gives us stone. Oh, right, yeah. We don't need to do that right now. Get some more leather and wood. Maybe some electronic parts. We're getting plastic and iron. That's all we got from that, because we don't have a wrench yet, so. All right, let's go back here. Water, please. Thank you. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. That just goes back out. Let's check the cabinets. Food. Nice. Beef cuts. Um, you know what? Let's just take that down. Let's take it while the taking's good. I need to lock some of my slots there. Is this cornmeal? No, it's a nitrate. All right, well, we'll grab it. I think this might be cornmeal, though. Oh, yeah, nice. Because we can make cornbread now. All right, let's see what we get in the fat loots. Woohoo, look at that. Yeah, baby. All right, nice. Nice indeed. We'll check the chamois crate. Hopefully some more water. We'll take peas and coffee. All right, I'd say overall that was pretty successful. Um, We could move down into here, I suppose. We don't really need to, though, so I don't know. 
this is a this is such a temporary setup right now that I think we'll just stay on the roof. It's safer that way anyway. Pick up the pot of plant. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? A screamer? How the hell did that happen? What? Why the hell am I getting screamers? And there's they got me pinned down too. Wow, I was not expecting that to happen. We might want to put that oh god damn it. That's not gonna do us a whole lot of good. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, we gotta kill her. Alright, she's down. I can't believe we got screamers so soon. Let's get bleeds going on these guys. Trying to keep them from killing us. And gotta keep this thing upgraded. Let's do another one there just as an extra precaution. This is like freaking me out, man. Oh shit. I gotta not I gotta use my hotkeys and not use my mouse wheel. It's just a bad habit that I have. Because it takes too much time. Oh fuck me. <laughs> this is not good, you guys. This is really not good. Let's go back here real quick and just keep this topped off. The prob the problem is that things are just going to keep escalating. I don't know if I can survive this. I really don't. Okay, let's get some bleeds. We might need to we might need to make a run for it. I don't know. Okay. Get those bleeds going. Okay. Ah, shit, I missed. Any way we can keep this repaired? No. All right, we're getting the fuck out of here. Oh, shit, 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 shit. They don't know where I'm at. Oh my God, that was crazy. I was not expecting screamers this early in the game. Holy shit. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> Jeez. Let's get up here. All the way up here. Um, and I think <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is let them disperse. Um Yeah, because see the problem is the screamy if we don't kill the screamer fast enough, she screams more come and it just it's just a vicious cycle and it keeps escalating. Um yeah, so all right, I'm going to just chill out on the roof up here. Maybe see if we can draw, you know, draw them away from the house and just let them get the hell out of here. If we, you know, if we went far enough away, 
they would despawn. They, they those zombs didn't despawn. They just got out of render is all. So, okay, yeah. What I'm gonna do is, oh, what's that? Oh, the potter plant. Okay. Hmm. I was not expecting that to happen. Oh my god, I really wasn't. Um. This is nice, actually. Now that I have a chance to think for a second, let's put that on there. Wow, yeah, that's actually really nice. What does that do exactly? 10% chance to cause a bleeding wound on a regular attack. Well, I don't know that that helps us a whole lot because that happens automatically, but even just putting it on boosts the overall damage anyway, so it's still worth using. All right. Okay, so um, let's go actually back over here and get our frames. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot of stuff th that we could go to the trader with. I'd like to get these two waters um, cooked up as soon as possible. So let's just kind of start working our way back over there, but we got to be real careful. We are in perfect health, though, so, th th so there is that, right? I don't think we have any ill effects. Um, yeah, okay, so we're in good shape. But yeah, what the hell, man? Screamers? <laughs> Already? I mean, I did, I did a little bit of harvesting and stuff around the base, you know, the night before, but God, that's nuts. That is absolutely insane. They might have buggered off by now. Okay. They've either totally buggered off or they despawned. But wow. Okay, let's get these two waters cooked. And we got ourselves a little bit of food, which is just amazing. How about if we put food and medical types of items in here? I'm going to keep one of those in there. The rest we'll keep um, for, uh, or the other one we'll keep for later. And we'll put this down so we have a little bit of decoration on our, our little makeshift home here. Let's grab anything that's a food item out of here or a medical item. And we'll put those here. That's not a food item. We can make goldenrod tea, which is going to be a little bit better than water. So we shall do that. Um, is it already noon? Oh my god. We just got started. What the hell? It's getting kind of shitty out, too. These, oh, actually, let's let's put these in here because we can use those for if we get an abrasion. But I'm not going to carry them with us just because our inventory space is quite limited at the moment. Oh, it's a one per one. Beautiful. Okay, so let's make two goldenrod teas. Actually, hold on a sec. So, okay, one water gives, just gives us 20. So I just wanted to do that comparison. I think goldenrod tea is going to be a little bit better. It's it's really used for, you know, if you get dysentery, but there's no nothing wrong with just drinking it straight up either. Okay. Let's let's um let's eat the peas. I know you can use those for shepherd's pie, but guys, it's going to be a long time before I'm going to be able to make shepherd's pies, so you know, as the saying goes, Two cans of peas in the hand are better than one shepherd's pie in the bush. That's a true saying, in case you guys didn't know that. Let's turn these other two feathers into arrows. And uh, we're just waiting on our tea, and then once our tea's done, we'll go back out and risk our lives again, because that's what you do in this game. Holy shit, though, man. I think I'm going to also take two more eggs as well. I want to save the blueberry pie because that's that's not only some amazing food, but it's also got, a, you know, quite a bit of health potential for us too. 
We should probably make a normal bandage to uh, prevent bleeding. All right, so goldenrod gives us 24 water. Yeah, so it gives us four more water and can cu uh, cure dysentery if we get it. Okay, good. Let's take this one right now because we need it. Our food is almost completely topped off, so we're doing good with that. And then we'll take uh, we'll take this one with us. We'll let that one, you know, finish cooking, and then um, you know come back and get it later. It's gonna need. Let's put one more piece of wood in there. I mean, I'm I'm a little hesitant to be running our campfire, but we have to do it. We have no choice. Fucking screamers, man! I cannot believe that we got screamers. Okay, let's make a few more hatches. And let's also try and set those down the right direction next time. That might help a little bit. And where should we go next? Um, the oil company or the motel? Let's go do the motel next, I think. I want to go places that we have a higher chance of getting water and stuff like that because, I mean, food and water is just a bitch in the early game. Uh, it's like our number one priority that we have to stay on top of. And we're doing okay now, but, you know, it goes down, so. I think there might be, like, crawlers down in there. I don't know if there's other loot. I can't remember. Let's go poke our head down here real quick. I mean, I don't really see a reason for us to come down here. Other than to get these resources, I guess. Oh, there is a... There is a cubby there. Is there going to be a zombo in here? There's a corpse in a duffel bag. Oh, okay. That'll come in handy. If we need it. Just making sure that's not like a false wall or something. Of course, if it was, a zombo probably would have jumped out and eaten our butt by now. Alright, that's all that's in here. It was worth coming down here to get a splint. We may need that. See what's in here. Probably gas. Yep. Collect enough of that, we can sell it. Okay, let's just be careful. See a zombo off that way. Yeah, I've got a really bad habit of using my mouse wheel to switch my toolbar, and that's just not a good idea when you got to switch quickly. So I, I got to. In fact, we don't even need to shovel on the toolbar at all. So why don't we do that? Okay. So axe is in four. Got to remember that. Aloe vera. There is an Arlene over by that cop car. I don't have any lock picks. Trying to break the cop car open right now would be extremely foolhardy. I don't think we'll mess with that until later. Okay, let's get this. Harvest polymers is complete. All right, here let's let's uh, redeem that. Uh, we got a point too, didn't we? All right, what are we gonna put that in? Um, I think I want to put the next point into. We could do iron gut. That'll help a little bit with our food and water situation. Um, but I think uh, we use our our bow quite a bit, so I think it makes sense to put a point into archery. So that's what we're gonna do. 
All right. Dick's Diner. That place has quite a few Zikaroos in there. Um, we probably should eliminate Arlene. So let's let's get her. Whoop, that was not what I meant to do. We are we clear everywhere else? I think so. As far as I can tell. It's a long shot for this shitty bow. Especially when she moves right after I pull the trigger. Or release the string as the case may be. Okay, let's pull her over here. She doesn't even see us. Good, we get a freebie. All right. Come on, girl. I figured she was softened up enough to where we could just kill her straight up with a sledge. All right. Let's just uh, check down the street a little more before we hit the POI. Just to make sure there isn't anybody else wandering around nearby. And we'll hit these vehicles too. Well, not the cop cars, but the regular vehicles. Okay. Pistol Pete. Craft high power 9mm ammunition. Alright. I don't really use that in this game. I much prefer armor piercing ammo just because the real tough enemies are so well armored. Is that... I think that's business guy. Alright. Let's um give him an arrow enema. See if we can get another freebie shot. Nope, he saw us. Oh, he did. All right. God, I still can't believe we got screamers, man. It's insane. Spear Hunter. Sure, we'll read it. Probably won't do anything with spears unless we happen to come across a really good one really early on. Uh, is that? I can't tell if that's a corpse or a Zeke. I think it's a corpse. We need to be careful, though, because there could possibly be like a dog or something over here. And that would not be something we would want to tangle with right at the moment. I mean, I don't see a dog house. Okay, let's check this. Got a little bit of cement here. We'll loot this and then let's let's move back away from here. Just have a bad feeling about that area. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to go there eventually, right? But Okay, video store. Uh, the video store is a is part of the police POI, and there's some nastiness inside of there. So I think we're going to avoid the video store for now. That's a little more than we can take on. But I think maybe, oh, there's our first chicken. Look at that. Let's see if we can get this guy. We need the meat and the feathers, but the meat especially. We need, uh, we're going to need to come across a grill. 
We can buy one, but that's another 600 coin. You bastard. Got him. Okay. Good. Our first critter kill. Harvest animals is complete. Beautiful. Okay, so this Motel 7 is only a one skull, so I think we can handle it. That's not to say we can be careless, though. But, you know, I think we can make it work. Um, This would seem to suggest that we are supposed to start up on the roof, maybe? I'm not, you know, all these POIs are, are new or have been redone from what they used to be, so I'm not super familiar with them all. Okay, that spring will probably end up selling. Um, let's let's guess we'll just do that. I want to block that opening there. Whoop! Stop it! Cut it out! Don't do that. All right, that's locked. You know what? Before we start messing with this, I want to check around the back, and I'm also going to go drop some stuff off because we are five points encumbered okay so let's put all this food in here look at that meat that's amazing put the seeds all of this stuff in here we'll have some things that we can uh, sell to wrecked um yeah let's turn all these into arrows i think too i'm gonna drink this now we have remember we have one more sitting in the campfire just to keep that topped off. And I think we're okay on food for the moment. All right. Oh, that door's locked. Okay, let's just... I think that's a corpse in there. All right. I still don't... I don't want all this shit in the way possibly blocking us. Let's get this out of here. You really got to think about your, you know, your surroundings and your escape routes and all that sort of thing at this stage. Speaking of which, let's make sure nobody's stinking up behind us. Okay. We'll put that down there. Keep hitting my escape key. Okay, let's harvest this. Zombie? Okay. Oh, shit. Well, there's some meat. Okay. <laughs> Ten more pieces of meat, baby. That's right. This is that damn game that requires five pieces of raw meat to one make one piece of cooked meat. I, uh, that is the dumbest thing ever. Ah, uh, man. Don't even get me started, dude. <laughs> Don't even fucking get me started. But we have enough meat for four bacon and eggs once we, you know, once we can can make it. All right, I guess there's nothing else in here really for us to, it's worth our, our time and effort. This could potentially be a good place for us to retreat to, though, so... If we, where's just the basic plate? There we go. Let's upgrade these two. All right, I don't think we need to worry about the top ones. 
So that way, if we need a place to retreat to, we can come back in here. Of course, if we do, you know, we'll be pinned down, but I don't know what else to do about it. Is what it is. All right, let's check in this next room here. Also, well, we need that stuff to get up on top, so we'll leave it alone for now. What is this? Is this cobble? No, that's clay. Okay. That door's unlocked. Sample in that closet, maybe? There is. Oh, nice. A couple of beers. Does beer give us hydration? It doesn't, but it could come in handy if we can really get in trouble, even though it'll blur our vision. All right, is there any zombies in here? There's a corpse. And that leads to the other room and an ammo pile as well. Oh, nice. We can sell that stuff. Okay. Let's turn these back to uh, normal blocks. We could make these frames uh, because that way we can actually shoot through them. We'll check that door, too. All right. I can't tell if anybody's in there. So let's just leave that the way that it is for the moment. Oh, shit. I'm, su <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't wake those guys up. All right, we got some Zika Roos in here. Let's put this down. And let's not hit the pause button. Um, I think I'm going to... I have to take this door down because I can't see him from here. Oh, well. All right. We'll take this down, too. There we go. Now we can get a sneak shot off. Let's also uh, repair this. And actually, we'll repair all of these. All right. Here we go. Little Nurse Nancy. Okay, Nurse Nancy's down. A little stamina back. All right. Let's get uh, the leather, I guess, leather, cloth, whatever we get from this. Cloth. We'll harvest this as well. Door's locked. Two pieces of paper.
Okay, so there's no zombies in here. There's a door there. There's some water. Nice. There's a roof up there. Oh, I wonder if that's where we were supposed to come in at. Yeah, probably. Of course, if we were supposed to come in there, then where do we go from here? Not sure. Search book. Seeds. All right. Get some leather from this. Harvest leather is complete. All right. Let's take a look at our challenges. Kill the wabbit. Harvest the wabbit. Harvest the leather. All right, so we're already about three quarters of the way to the next level. That's pretty good. So, okay, uh, where were, where are we supposed to go from here? I don't know. Let's go up on the roof and take a look-see and see what's going on up there. Keep our eye open for buzzards. That might be a buzzard right where my cursor is. think it is well actually i guess i don't know so i don't understand why would i climb up on the roof to fall in that hole just to go through those two rooms and then lead right back where i started from i'm not detecting the path i don't know that i like that idea though Um, we can quickly get back out of here if we need to, right? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully the floor doesn't collapse on us. That would suck. Shit. Go, go, go. What the hell, go? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Is she coming after us? No. I think I panicked a little bit and kept crouching when I was trying to uncrouch, and then I crouched when I tried to uncrouch, and yeah. Anyway. That's what you get, Arlene, for scaring the shit out of me. Now, I thought I heard two Zombadoodles, besides just Arlene. But if I did, where's the other one at? Oh, I hear it. Uh, oh, it's inside, inside here. Okay. Oh shit, time to go. He's dead already. Okay. Ow. All right. So 
Tell you what, let's go back up into that ceiling because there was a, a food pile or a medical pile there. I want to grab that first. Right there. Oh, this is the loot. Um, is this floor going to collapse though? I don't know. Nope, don't hit escape. It's not what we need to do. Okay, I can step on that. Urban combat. Medium and heavy boots will have no stamina penalty and reduce noise when moving. And look at this. Oh my goodness, that's a sight for sore eyes. We'll take that. Some nine mil rounds. Oh, <laughs> even better. In fact, we're going to eat this right now. And I think we'll drink this right now, too. Okay, worth the price of admission. We are encumbered by one square. Let's just ditch those two things and this and this. All right. Now, I, I don't want to drop down there. Because that could get us into some trouble that we can't get out of anytime soon. Let's go ahead, though, and grab this cement. And it is starting to get late. So we do need to be mindful of that. I think I'm going to leave the rest of that stuff. But let's see if we can finish this out. Now, just because that dude was in here... Doesn't mean there isn't going to be someone else in here. Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> that's okay. That's where we were up above there. That scared me. Anything in here? Nice. We'll take that. Okay. Come on, give me some coffee. Well, I meant actual real brewed coffee. Shh. That scared the hell out of me. Alright, we're okay at the moment. Take the cloth and the plastic. Uh, what's in here? The other room. Alright, let's grab this. Oh, God, run! Whew. Okay, we got this. All right, uh, where are they at exactly? I'd like them to come over this way. Is there anybody else out here that's going to cause us any grief? Uh, I think we're okay. Oh, I'm not even thinking, man. They could come right through this door. Oh, and here they come. Good thing I noticed that right now, huh? Come here, darling. Okay, run. Stamina? That's what you get for scaring me. That's funny, man. <laughs> Set that, that hatch in front of that other door when the front door is wide open. I don't know. Actually, I don't know who we're dealing with here. Okay, that's just business guy. Or, well, 
a variation on him. Whew. Okay. Is that all of you guys? They they both came out of here. This is the room we would have dropped down inside of. Close. All right, well, we'll take that stuff. I'm encumbered again. All right, I think we've cleared the place. Oh, beautiful. More water. What's that noise? I don't know. I thought I heard something other than just me shutting the door. We got to move. We're almost out of time here. Okay. Uh, there's a few more things in here we could get, but we were just in there. I think we're going to grab this and then call it good because it's just about nighttime. And remember, I got my zombs set to... Oh, oh man, that's good to know. Okay, so we got a vending machine here that we can take advantage of as needed. Uh, but anyway, remember, I've got the nighttime zombie set to feral. So we don't, we do not want to be out on the ground at nighttime. Not until later when we can hold our own a little bit better. Anyway. All right, guys. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Man, this episode was crazy, especially with those screamers earlier. My goodness. Uh, so I'm just going to chillax here on the... I'm going to actually scrap that. Um, on the roof and, you know, wait until the next day. As long as I stay crouched and I don't open anything or make any noise, they won't detect me up here. At least that's the theory. But we do have, um, we have t 20 pieces of meat, which is great. And we have this blueberry pie too, which is really good. The beer, I should probably keep the beer on my toolbar and use it in an emergency. And we got another golden rod there too, so that's good. Let's grab some of that wood back out of here. I want to cook this water up. But I'd like to um, pretty much have all that done before nightfall. Let's also scrap that chair too. Scrap items is complete. Nice. So I'm going to, you know, kind of get some stuff together. We'll go see Wrecked in the morning and sell whatever we can. And then we're just going to keep on doing what we're doing, um, you know, going through these POIs. The uh, Dick's Diner and the, the Clunky Oil Co. are going to be a little more dangerous. Um, we might, maybe we could try the salvage place tomorrow. We'll see how, you know, th see how things go. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.